Hello, bravs, since um, I'm reading The Witch and the Priest and a familiar in the form of a cat is involved, I shall read Gundela's No Familiars in Gundela's home in her... What month is this? December 4th, 1980, Witch Watch column in The Observer. Dear Gundela, I have read many stories about you, and I have seen you on television many times. Sometimes they show your cat, and once they showed a rabbit in a chair at your house. This year on Channel 4, I saw you again, and they showed your dog. Are these animals your familiars, and what exactly is a familiar? Mrs. M.R. from Livonia. Dear Mrs. M.R., it was believed in the past that some witches called upon spirits to help them with their magic. These spirits were believed to take over or possess the bodies of animals so that the witch could keep them with her. I do not have any familiars, and as far as I know, I have never come in contact with anyone who has. However, a woman once wrote and told me that shortly after her husband's death, a stray cat came to her house and she took it in. She fed it and it became very affectionate. She now believes it to be the spirit of her dead husband. I do not believe in transmigration since I believe that souls evolve and grow rather than regress into animal form. In any case, my own animals are just what they appear to be, a fat cat and a playful puppy. We no longer have the rabbit. They are family pets and we love them, but they are not possessed and are not familiars. Dear Gandela, I saw you on television at Halloween and you wore green. You explained that you had colored your skin in the way witches used to do to identify with their cults. But unless something was wrong with my television, your dog was green too. Did you color it or was I seeing things? Mary P. Farmington. Dear Mary, no, you were not seeing things. My dog was green. When I was coloring my own skin, my children and I put green food coloring on her too, just for the fun of it. It was completely harmless. But it has not washed out well. She's still, she is still a little green. She has enjoyed it, though, because she is a friendly dog and likes all the extra attention being green has brought her. Dear Gondella, I think I might be a witch. Is there any way I can tell for sure? Sandy S. Southfield. Dear Sandy, you are definitely not a witch. If you were, you would know it. For, one, for no one is born a witch. It is something you become through study, work, and initiation into a coven. You may, however, have a great deal of psychic power. You do not have to be a witch to be clairvoyant or to use your mental powers in many other ways once believed to be supernatural. All people have some degree of psychic ability. With practice, you can develop that power in many different ways and use it for many different purposes.